Okay, all right. What is up, you guys? It's Thane TV here, and today I'm gonna be cooking my breakfast that I make. I don't make it every day. Sorry, I'm very tired, guys. But I thought I'd make this video. It's something to wake me up. So, yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, a meal. I just learned how to. Well, I didn't just learn how to make it. I know how to make it. It's just you guys will understand when I make it. But let's get the stuff that you need. Okay, so for the first meal, breakfast meal, um, depending on how big you want the plate, I'm just gonna do a little plate like this. So we're gonna need a plate. Um, I'm gonna fucking need this. We're gonna need these later for the other meal. So I'm just gonna set that right there. I'm gonna move my posted chicken. Put in the comments down below if that looks good. I don't. I don't really know how I feel about his, but. All right, so I'm gonna get all the stuff for it and I'll show you what we need. Okay. So, you're gonna need three eggs. Actually, it doesn't matter how many eggs you have, to be honest, but that's just a good estimate right there. So, first thing what you're gonna wanna do is, take this plate out of the way. You're gonna take your egg. Crack it, give it a little tap. If you have an egg cracker, that works a lot better. Put it in there. Oop, fucked up on that one. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you wash your hands before you do this too. It helps. Uh, Paper towel. Okay. Now the second thing you need is a whisk. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Here's the whisk, guys, and see that egg in there? I'm just gonna whisk it. You're gonna take it, you're gonna pop your eggs right here. And just do this. Okay, now. That you got your eggs all whisked right here. You're gonna leave that. And what you're gonna do, if you have a stove, you're gonna turn on to around seven. So what I mean by that is seven is probably the best because it makes it cook the scrambled eggs a lot better. And fuck. Oh, I gotta wash this pan, so I'll do that. Just give me like two minutes. Okay, now that we got this pan cleaned, we're gonna put it right on top of here. Okay, so now you're gonna take your eggs right here. You can put them off to the side. And then, I don't, I haven't tried it yet, but putting actual butter in here just so it doesn't stick, I'd recommend real butter and just like spreading it with a knife or something so the eggs don't stick to the pan. But in my opinion, they're gonna stick anyway. You see with over easy, it's just a lot more, I, I don't really know what to say, but I don't know how to explain it, but this stuff still sticks on, even if I do put this on, it's easy clean up, but it's, it's, it'll be fine. So I'm going to spray that everywhere. Don't do too much like I did. That's fucking insane. I don't even know why I did that. You know what? I'm just going to, uh, you know what? No, 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 no I'm not going to test it. So here's the second thing you want to do. You want to, let me set my phone up here. All right. Now you're going to want to take your eggs and put them right in. Don't ball those in there. Make sure everything's gone. Now you're going to take a spatula. I'm going to 
just is a little wet. And then you're gonna go through all of it and literally just cook it. Just wait till it. Give it a little time. See, you see those little chunks? That means it's cooking. So make sure you're always moving it so it doesn't stick to the plate. So while that's cooking, why don't we start the ham for the side? Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take this ham and you're gonna take a little plate and you're gonna slap two pieces on there or however many you want. It's your choice. Any kind of ham, I guess, or turkey. If you want turkey, please have turkey. Turkey, in my opinion, is good, but you can take two pieces of ham and then you're just gonna. Spread it out on a plate. And what I do with this ham is I put it in the microwave. Make sure it's not hanging. But make sure they're nice and evenly spread out. Put it in for like 25 seconds. The minute you hear a popping sound though, like once or twice, that means it's done. You don't want to cook it any longer, otherwise the microwave will explode. Right there. Like, um. Oh, there we go. Alright, now it's cooked. So, see, that is your cooked ham right there. And it does get cold pretty damn quick, so. Alright, let's go check it out. Shit. Okay guys, well I fucked up the ham. I'll probably have to recook it. But what you can do is the scrambled eggs are done, so you're gonna take your plate, you're gonna take it by the spatula and then just do this. Make sure you get it all done. And make sure you get all that yolk out of there right away. You don't want it sticking. There we go. I'll probably need that spatula later. All right, let me recook this ham. Okay, now that you got your ham re well, you see my ham fell in that recycling bin full of bleach, so I don't want to eat fucking bleach and kill myself, so. And you're gonna take your ham, put it on the side, organize it. I personally fold it in half, just like that. And then, right there. I prefer. Not Sargento cheese. Maybe if, maybe Sargento cheese, but thinner. This is too thick in my opinion. Just like my ex-wife. Just kidding. I'm just messing. Um, but should be on there. Um, yeah, this cheese is honestly too thick to be spread and melt right away. So then you're gonna take your pepper, pepper everything like this. This little tap. The easier way so you don't get too much is just kind of tap it like that. Same thing with the salt. And then that is meal number one. I personally really like this and I think I did a good job on it. So. Oh, we don't need that shit anymore. So, all the beast, baby. 
Okay, guys, time for meal two. Now, this is kind of like a burrito. I call it the Thane burrito. Get it? Okay, so you're going to need a cutting board like this. Shit. Get my candy out of the way. Okay. You need tortilla shells, but you're going to need that later. So we're going to put that off the side right now. So you are going to need three bowls. Right? Okay. One are for eggs, one for potatoes, and one for the green peppers. You can add sausage, but I don't add sausage. I just add those three. So this is just like, I don't know. Um, so... Where the fuck is the peppers? In the fridge. Oh, no, over here. Over here. Okay. So we got two peppers here. So we're making one burrito. So we're only gonna need one. We're gonna take a knife. I'd say a kitchen knife would work best. Make sure you're safe. Make sure you're holding the knife like that. And then what you want to do is you want to cut that core out right there. And leave that on the side. Make sure you're watching where your fingers are at all times. You don't want to cut your fingers. I mean, unless if like you want to, I mean, it's not my fucking fingers, so I don't give two fucks, but I'm gonna cut this core out and then you're just gonna throw that the fuck away because you don't want that. So then you're gonna bang the shit out of these, get all the seeds out. All right, now you're gonna wanna dice them. So that is just cutting them in straight lines and then going the complete opposite way. So let's do this. Okay, now that you got them all cut, make sure most of them aren't that big. Just gotta, I guess, do this a little more. Oh shit, there's still seeds in there. Whatever, it's all gonna be cooked, so I don't give two fucks. Um, here we go. I'm gonna take that. And do you remember those three bowls? Well, you would if you were listening and watching this video. Also remember to subscribe. You're gonna take the, this bowl and you're gonna, right in there. Shit. I spilled a little bit. Okay, that is the Green peppers. Now it's time for the potatoes. And take your bag of tomatoes. What the fuck am I talking about? Jesus, I am so tired. <laughs> they call potatoes tomatoes. What the fuck? All right, these are pretty small potatoes. You can get bigger kinds somewhere, but I I do recommend two if you're getting this brand. Only if these are green. These will look like the green, Jolly Green Giant's testicles. A great meal topic. Alright, here we go. Oops. Shit. So, same thing with these. 
Now, you can choose to skin them, like just take off the excess, but I, I don't, personally. So, all you're going to do is just kind of cut it like that. And yeah, then you go on from there. So, let's do this. Before I cut this guys, I always forgot to mention, or I forgot to mention, you always should wash it and dry it off because these come from dirt. So, all right, let's continue cutting. Okay, well, now that you got your potatoes done, there's still chunks in there. I go through it and just dice it up like this. Make sure you're careful. Potatoes do fly everywhere. Do not do what I just did. Do not do this. Do, do not do that. That that could cut you very badly. Alright, now I'm going to take bowl number two. I'm going to put all these potatoes right in there. It's actually a lot more than I thought it would be. Potatoes are pretty small. So I thought it would be a smaller portion, but apparently not. I always second guess myself. Why are you recording yourself? Cause I made good shit. Oh yeah, you are. No, I said why. So people can know how to make good shit? Are you gonna tell them that I gave you the recipe for this or what? No. I did. No, you didn't. He's lying. Alright, I'm lying, guys. You know what? Put in the comments down below if you think I'm lying. Okay, now I got your potatoes in here. Okay, since you gave me the recipe, what's next? I gave you a list. If you yeah, lost that list, exactly. That's not my fault. <laughs> okay. What's next? I should put the eggs in there. He did not give me the recipe. He doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Whatever. Well, now we're going to take... Alright, I got it. Who does the nice recipe here? Yeah. So we got to cut them up? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. I gave you a list. But... Alright. He's on the list, right, cool. Shit, now what you gotta do is just put as many eggs as you can in there. As many as you want. Make sure there's no shells in there. Ah, fuck. Yeah. kidding now you're gonna take your whisk again where the fuck did I put it where's the fucking whisk oh here we go and you're gonna pop the yolks inside and now you're just gonna do the exact same thing 
See all that right in there? Just gonna whisk it just like that. See, now if it's not stringy enough, you gotta keep on whisking. So you can get most of it mixed in. Still not stringy enough in my opinion. All right, now let's try. Good enough. Okay, now that you got your three bowls, you got your potatoes, you got your eggs, and you got your green peppers. Now, guys, this is just my opinion, but I like green peppers the best. You can, you don't even have to add peppers or potatoes. It's just extra flavoring, so you don't even have to add that. So you can just have these two. Egg and potato burrito. I don't know. Whatever works for you. But this is what I'm doing, and I do not have red peppers. So, yeah. So, anyway, remember that pot before? I cleaned it. So, we're going to turn this on right here to 7 again. I'm going to put that pot right on there. And now you're going to need vegetable oil. All right. There you go. Well, it doesn't have to be this brand, but whatever it works. I think you want to spray the pan. Chef Famous. So, that should be like a different YouTube channel or something. Chef Famous. Okay, I guys, I guys, I don't think you need to add butter or nothing, just because um, this will make it slide. So only a little bit. Oop, a little too much. A little bit worse. Okay, I'm put this off the side now. You, this is what you got to watch for. What? See right here. Yeah. What are you teaching me, okay? What am I teaching? You gotta okay. So when the vegetable oil is cooking, you gotta look for if it's if like the oil is disappearing. If it's disappearing, you know it's cooking. Uh, so it's obviously not cooking right now. Yeah. So we gotta wait a little bit, which gives us time to bring these over here. Okay, I'm gonna explain this, and you guys gotta remember this, because there's a certain way you gotta do this. Well, there's a certain way I do it, just, just so it makes sense. So, it's in three easy steps. First, so step one is to put the green peppers in. So, and step two is to put your potatoes in. Okay, you got that? All right. Good. Well, step three is to lastly put your eggs in. And then let it cook for a bit, but we're still waiting. I think I put too much vegetable oil. And so we're gonna dump out a little bit of vegetable oil. That was way too much. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so now you're gonna wanna wait for this until it's cooking. There still might be a little too much vegetable oil in there, so we're gonna dump a little more out. Not too much though, not too much, not too much. Maybe a little more. That's perfect. That's the amount you should have in there. Just spread it around in there. Okay, now. So, you're going to finally put your green beans in there. What the fuck am I talking about? I call it potatoes tomatoes and I'm calling freaking green peppers green beans. What the fuck's wrong with me? Oops. Whew. 
Okay, watch out. Sparks will fly. All right. Now, what I do personally is to spread them out evenly. So you're going to grab your spatch again. So spatula. Spatula chi. Moti. Okay, don't be gross like me. But you're going to spread them out evenly like this. Maybe like that. Alright, now you're gonna let them sit and cook for a bit. Tops, I give them about two minutes. Two minutes, still spread through them. And then if they're cooked enough, which they should be, it's just to get them warm. I actually don't know really how to tell. You just know. Let's just say that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna dump your potatoes in on top of it. But that is when they're cooked. Actually, I think I, okay, so when you, you see that bubbling right in there, when it's bubbling like this, that's where you could tell it's kind of getting cooked. So now, spread it out a little more. Even it out. All right, I'm gonna put that on the side. And it looks pretty done. So, now, you're gonna take your potatoes, and you're gonna, I'm right in there. Okay. Now you're gonna take your potatoes and I almost say green beans, green peppers around. I might have had too much potatoes. Now that they're both in here though, you just want to spread them out evenly again. Maybe flip it like that. Flip it. Flip it. Okay, honestly, I might have put too much in here. But that's okay. So now we're gonna let it sit for a bit. And of course, when it's bubbling, okay, that's when you wanna take it out. And then, obviously, when it's cooked, you wanna pour this egg yolk in. So, all right. So it's looking good so far. You hear that? That's mean, that means it's cooking. Oh, I love that sound. It's a good sound. Okay, now it looks about cooked. So, then you're going to take your eggs and you spread it all over. For this one, I think I might need more eggs. Maybe not. Let's try it. But you're gonna spread that all around, all the eggs in there. It's gonna look gross as fuck first, but. Yeah, I'm gonna need a couple more eggs. So let's get that shit going. I'm um, gonna see about probably six eggs, but you always wanna be constantly moving this, so this is gonna be a little tricky here. Oh, I'm making a huge fucking mess. Keep on moving it. I'm trying to do two things at once. Multitasking is pretty hard. So now I'm gonna spread this around. Okay, now put that in there. Okay, see the things is drying to the thing on accident. Okay, now I'm going to take that whisk. I'm going to whisk the eggs. Guys, literally, look at how, look how fast I'm working. 
I'm literally doing two things at once. Shit. Maybe if I can get my fucking phone up. See, I'm literally whisking at the same time. Okay, good. All right, we're good. Almost thought I'd lose it. Okay, now you're just going to kind of whip it around there until you see scrambled like eggs in there. So, obviously, you know what scrambled eggs look like. So, when they're all scrambled, then you're going to want to put them somewhere. So, at first, I put these on a plate if you're making a burrito, like right this second. So, now I'm going to grab a plate and Turn this off here and now. What? Yeah. You got a mess to clean up. I know. It's all over the floor. I got it. I know. Okay. Just put all that in there. Oh yeah. That looks good. That is so so, 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 okay, all right, Whew. all right. Okay. So, I'm gonna make two burritos. So, let's take this over here. And we're gonna put it right on here. Okay. I'm gonna have to wipe that surfaces, so then I'm gonna take, okay, here we go. Okay, so, you guys see this right here? And you take your wraps. Honestly, doesn't matter what kind you get, as long as there's something to wrap it, that's just me. So I'm making two, it doesn't matter what size you get, if you want a little burrito and you're not that hungry, that's okay, grab a little one, but I'm making two because I am hungry as fuck. So we're going to start off with a big plate and we're going to pop that right on the plate like this. And then, come on, there we go, put, that off the side, put this off the side then. You are going to take, well that fell on the floor so you're not going to take that. Let's just take this. I don't know what this is but it's something to scoop up the stuff. Okay, then you're going to take this and then you're kind of going to spread it around. Kind of like this. I should have added red peppers to be honest. I think it would have a lot been a lot better. Okay, so if you, let's say you did add red peppers, okay, it's the same thing. You always want to put the peppers first, and that's just my personal experience. And um, I lost train of thought. <laughs> oh my god, it's been one hell of a day. Okay, so now you're going to take your shizento cheese. 
Now this, I don't care if this is thick. It doesn't matter how thick it is, as long as it melts, I guess. But with the other meal, you see scrambled eggs is a little more, I don't know, it's a smaller proportion. Then what you want to do is you're going to stuff it on the side here like that. Same thing with this side. I want to fold that down. Take this side. Flip it up. And then flip this side up. And turn it around. Nah, maybe. Let's do it a little tighter. That is your first burrito. And obviously, guys, same thing with the second one. So I'm going to get the second one. All right, well, there you have it. So I'd actually stock a little less on the sides so it's easier to fold up. This one was kind of all over the place. And honestly, add salt and pepper. Unlike I did, I might have to go through this again and rewrap it with salt and pepper. All right, guys, let's look at meal one and meal two together, and that'll be it. Okay, guys, you tell me how this looks. So, this is meal one. This is meal two. That is just an egg burrito. I have a glass of milk because it's pretty healthy. Honestly, this is a pretty healthy breakfast. It... Stop that. You stay there. You stop that. Stop it. Okay. Honestly, I think I did a really good job on it. They both look really good, but I prefer this meal, to be honest. But you guys tell me in the comments. Um, I worked really hard on these. I'm probably going to give that one to my dad and some more to um, the people I know. So, guys, now you know how to make this, so you can share it with other people. And, yeah. Um... You can give it to them. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Milk mustache. Mm. Well, I'm going to eat these. These look really good. So, um, I don't know how to make them. Anyway, guys, remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you. Why are you still here? Go. Go on with your life. Just go. Scroll to the next video, please. I'm like, I'm not. It, it's over. The video is over. You guys can leave anytime now. Yeah, seriously. You guys can leave. Goodbye. See ya. See, see ya. See you another time. See you another time I upload a new video. Bye. Remember to also like and subscribe.